just remember the loudest sound I have ever heard. It wasn't it wasn't like an explosion you hear on a traditional explosion you hear on TV when you're watching a movie. It was just a very extremely loud cracking sound. My biggest concern was the Taliban coming and taking hostages. Like I didn't see blood or anything like that, just pieces. When I people ask, I try to explain that the amputation was the least of my injuries. It, it was the most visible. You know, the scarring that didn't enable, enable me to move and it took a month for me to stretch out the scars on my stomach to be able to lie flat so I could stand up straight. I can see, or I, maybe I can't see it, but I know the amount of fear I had about um, what my future would be. It was a little bit of an obsession for me that I did not know what to expect. Um, would I be as active as I was before? Would I be able to raise a family? Would I, you know, put my family through more than I already have? Was it going to get much worse before it got better? And at points, looking back, it, it did. <laughs> I wish I could go back and tell that 25-year-old it's going to be okay. It's going to be um, difficult, but um, you'll get through this. And not to go down the rabbit holes that I went down over the last 10 years. I remember my psychologist saying it would take at least um, four years for you to feel normal again. Um, and then after four years passing, still not feeling exactly comfortable with everything. To be completely honest, it's only been in the last year or two that I really feel like everything is okay again. But I remember thinking, if I can't have children, I don't want to think about surviving. But having my daughter this year was, was something that I had been thinking about for so long and always wondering if it would be possible. So once I was able to have, have time with her and know that it was possible for me to raise a, a baby girl, that was something that was really monumental for me to say, to know that, okay, it's, it, things are okay. And now she's almost 11 months. She'll be one year old a week before the 10 year anniversary. I, th I don't think life can be, should be measured in successes and wins. I think <laughs> efforts, and attempts are, ju are important, if not more important. Because, you know, at the end of the day, when I look back on my life, I wanna know that at least I made an effort to try to make the world a better place and to try to improve things. Um, and that will come at a cost, whether it's time or financially or health. I don't think as Canadians, we can just stand idle knowing that our neighbors in the international community can live without some of the privileges that we have.